Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 10, verses 37 through 42, where it is written, Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Whoever does not take up the cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Those who find their life will lose it, and those who lose their life for my sake will find it. Whoever welcomes you, welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me, welcomes the one who sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet in the name of a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever welcomes a righteous person in the name of a righteous person will receive the reward of the righteous. And whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Oh Christ. Family is wonderful. I say it as a son, a spouse, a father. It's great. There are a lot of really good things in life. And there's only one Jesus Christ. And he's the source of all good things. All good things function properly when he's at the center of everything. All things work to serve him. And if he gets obscured, if we take whatever thing, no matter how good it is in and of itself, it becomes an idol. If it's all about family and at the expense of Christ, then we uh, all become selfish and we hurt, deliberately hurt others to build up our own family. If it all becomes about money, wealth, it's, uh, growing it, we become greedy. If it all becomes about fill in the blank, if that becomes our God as opposed to Christ, if it's not just this nice thing God gives us, we're in real danger. We can create an idol, an idol that ultimately be destructive towards us and towards everyone. The best metaphor I can give you is a cancer. Our body has cells that function normally. If a functional cell goes haywire and starts reproducing too much, well, that's what a cancer is. If not treated, it's deadly. So when Christ comes to us, he does not come to destroy or take away things we love. He comes to reorder things that we love in a proper way, to make them work functionally. And the reason it feels like, oh no, it's so terrible, is kind of evidence of the fact that we're junkies, so to speak. We're addicted to the misuse of whatever. Christ comes to right that wrong and brings all things towards him. And that's why he says to the disciples, deny yourself. Don't be self-indulgent. Don't be, yeah, I'll do whatever I want. Thank you. I'll do what I like. That's the best uh, formula for loneliness and misery I've ever heard. Christ comes to save us even from ourselves, to give us discipline, to give us moderation, to forgive us our sins when we go off the rails and do whatever and hurt others. It's real hurt we cause. He comes to forgive it, and he comes to heal it. But you can't hold on to Christ if you're holding on to something else. That's why our attachments to whatever must be extinguished. Christ sends circumstances, circumstances in our life that are like, ugh, let's get us to open our hand to let go. And then with an open hand, we can cling to him onto the best ending we can imagine. And that's that. There are so many good things in life. And I'm not denying that, that they're good. But what's the highest good above all? Our Lord. For good things to be that good, they must be properly ordered to our Lord. And that's why we come here to get our uh, orientation adjusted so we know what's really going on. Let us pray the Lord keeps us in that straight mind. Lord, guide us always towards you, to have you at the center, so we're not sidetracked by other things, but all things, Lord, may serve you just as they should. Amen.